Welcome to another edition of Inside the Lab Hunt's Playbook and today we're going to be analyzing the T formation. The T formation is one of my favorite formations in all of football. It manipulates the defense and what I'm about to do is show you guys how you can manipulate defenses with the T formation. Wide receiver alignment is key in a T formation. Reason being, you spread these guys out this far out to the top of the numbers, and what you have created is a situation where defensive backs have to cover broader areas of the field. And what that does is gives you more opportunities to run one-on-one -on -one routes versus the secondary because a lot of times when teams face a team that runs the T formation they're going to use a 50 front or 3-4 defense which will put you in a situation where you're going to draw more man coverage more cover three and rarely will you see cover two or you may see some quarters coverage all of which are ideal for the wide receivers to beat one-on-one -on -one type of coverages and get open and make big plays down the field in the passing game. The T formation is also a well-balanced offense. When I'm talking about well-balanced, I'm look, look at this defense. It's a 50 front. The defense cannot overload to one side because if they do, it becomes a decided advantage for the offense. So by being in the T formation, having those receivers spread out that far wide and having these three backs in the backfield, the offense is even to both sides, but the defense has to stay in their call defense because if they shade to one side, the offense can easily check out and run the play the opposite way thus giving the offense a huge advantage in calling plays. Another advantage of the T formation, it utilizes the running backs in the passing game and that creates the ultimate mismatch for opposing defenses. You see right here how I have it set up. You can have either three running backs across the board, a running back, a fullback, or and another running back, or you can have this guy be a receiver, tight end, age back, a running back. You can have all receivers in the backfield. Either way it goes, when you have these guys designated in the backfield, it dictates how these guys on the back end will try to cover or will try to match up. If you have the luxury of having three talented running backs that can catch the football out of the backfield that are physical enough in the blocking aspects of uh, running the football and also have great inside running ability, this could be a deadly formation. And if you have a wide receiver that's a versatile guy that can take a handoff and doesn't mind running in between the tackles or does a great job out of the backfield, this also creates a huge mismatch for opposing defense because now when you bring in a receiver or an ace back that can also carry the football is not designating that you're about to throw the football because he is equally as capable to run the rock as these guys right here. So this is why I really love it because you have the versatility within your offense to utilize and maximize all the talents of your personnel. Another reason why I'm infatuated with the T formation is motion. When you utilize motion out of this formation, one, it dictates coverage, and two, it creates big opportunities in the running game and also the passing game. For instance, let's say in this type of set, this running back motions out to this side right here. And say you have an option call or a veer call where you're gonna attack this lane right here. If this guy does not walk out, then you check to a pass, and this guy is open on the route or wherever you want to send him out there in the pattern. If he does buzz out, now you definitely have a decided advantage in that option in the game because let's say you run the veer right here, right? In the quarter, belly's outside, pitch guy comes around. This, is the, this guy is going to block him, and this guy is blocking down along with the center. This is the option guy. And if he buzzes out to follow this guy in motion, now you have a smooth sail and you put the force guy in a huge hole because he's going to have to pick and choose. Either he's going to take the quarterback or he's going to take the pitch guy. And whichever one he chooses is going to be the wrong answer because it's going to either be a big play or a touchdown or a first down. But that's why motion creates that type of opportunity because one, you're going to find out what type of guy is this. Is he playing zone? Is he playing man? If he doesn't fall out, you check down and you make sure you send this guy, I'm sorry, you send this guy in motion, you check out to a pass play because now you have the advantage because this guy won't be be able to buzz down in time to cover him. So utilizing motion out of the T formation creates a huge advantage for the offense. The final reason why I like the T formation is the fact that misdirection is a lot easier and more effective to run out of this set 
in my opinion. Reason being, when you're a defensive guy and you're playing defense against an option attack or a wishbone or a T formation or the veer, it's all about penetration and blowing up the center. If you dominate the center, if you dominate the A gap in option football, you dominate that option attack. So the best way to combat that is all about misdirection and all about getting these guys going against flow. And when you're in this set, you're equal to both sides and you have the advantage of dictating where you want to go with the football. And I'm going to show you right now in Hunt's playbook, three separate plays on how the team formation can help you lead your team to victory. We're gonna draw up a play right here called 19 kickout. What we mean by kickout, this guy right here, this five technique will be the guy that will get kicked out by the backside tackle as we turn and hand the ball off to the run at the left half back in a T formation. So let's draw it up on a block. This tackle is gonna take this five technique, the center will bypass the nose and go to the backside linebacker and knock him out. The play side guard will block down on the nose tackle. The play side tackle will move up and block the play side linebacker, leaving this tackle to come, the backside guard, I'm sorry, to come and kick out the five technique while this tailback leads up and tries to go block the safety. This fullback will lead to go block the outside backer and we the quarterback reverse out reverses out hands the ball off to the left halfback in the T formation as he runs to daylight. Now the most important part of this play is the quarterback has to carry out the fake to hold that backside backer at the line of scrimmage. And this is what we call 19 kick out. The reason why this works, because you're fighting against defensive flow. The defense wants to get up the field and cause penetration. So where you have these guys fooled is this guy's gonna fly up the field and effectively block himself or take himself out of the play and put himself in position to get kicked out by the backside guard. And that's how you have this tailback running to daylight. One of the staples in the T formation is the veer option. And what we're gonna do here is show you guys the 24 veer versus the 3-4 defense or the 50 front, which is the same thing. You see right here, this is the four hole in between the guard and the tackle. So we're veering off this hole. And what that means is that we're gonna not, we're not gonna block the tackle or the outside backer. Reason being, those two guys are the option guys. This is the dive guy, this is the quarterback's guy, and this guy right here is the pitch guy because he's that field guy, he's gonna have to come and fill that alley. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna, this is how we're gonna block it. We're gonna, this tackle again, always blocks the five technique on that side. This guard, the backside guard and the center will double down on the nose. That's the reason why you double down on the nose to try to create that opening for this fullback to shoot through the four hole. So he's a dive guy. He's shooting through the four hole. And what's gonna happen, you have this play side guard blocking the backside linebacker. Play side tackle will bypass the five technique and go up to the play side linebacker and block him. This is where the read happens. This is where this guy is going to have to make a decision. Either he's gonna crash down and the quarterback carries out his fake, gets a good mesh point with the fullback right there. The play side running back, the right half back, will bypass this backer and move on up to the safety. Reason being, now let's say this guy crashes down and takes a fullback, fine. Quarterback moves along, the option, the pitch guy is following with good depth. You look at three yards, three to five yards depth behind the quarterback, this linebacker is put in a situation where he's gonna have to make a decision. If he crashes down, the quarterback pitches it to the option guy. If he decides to be a hero and take the option guy, quarterback takes it up, cuts it upfield, and is running to daylight. Early on in the video, we talked about how motion dictates coverage when you're playing a team that runs the T formation. And reason being, you look at how they're gonna play. Let's say in this set, we have an option call. Let's say we're gonna run a 24 variant, which we just showed you, and we put this guy in motion. Say we motion the right half back out to about right here. Here's where it causes confusion for defense. If this guy does not motion out to cover this back, we make a check call and throw a quick pass to this tailback because he's gonna be open and leaves him one-on-one -on -one with that safety. Also, if this safety to decides to double down, comes up close and gets about right here to, cuff, to effectively cover that tailback, it creates a one-on-one, -on -one, a definite one-on-one -on -one opportunity 
for this wide receiver to run either a go route or take it up and go right behind the safety and run a post. So it's all about dictating coverage when you're in the T formation. If this guy does not, but if he buzzes out, let's say he does buzz out and the safety stays where he's supposed to stay and the cornerback stays where he's supposed to stay. Now you have this linebacker, let's walk him out. Let's, let's walk this linebacker out over the tailback. The linebacker's here. Now what you have when you run the 24 veer, remember we still have the veer call. Boom, block down, backside, double the nose, tackle. Here's your veer. This guy is doomed. He's in a no-win situation because if he doesn't crash down, the fullback takes the ball to the house. If he decides to take the quarterback, the pitch guy is open and we have a best blocking situation where this guy's gonna block on that back and leave the, this pitch man one on one with this safety up here or in a situation we're gonna use this guy as still the quarterback guy so he may still crash down thus creating a pitch thus leaving this guy one on one to block the safety and having the left half back run to daylight so those are some basic plays and concepts that you can use with the T formation. We understand we haven't even scratched the surface of how in depth this offense is. We'll do that for later videos. We'll talk about how you can bring these guys in and utilize two tight ends here instead of having two wide receivers or we can utilize the passing game, multiple formations while still using the T formation concept. We haven't even scratched that surface. That's for another video, so stay tuned for that. Now there are some NFL teams that have personnel readily available to run this formation. You look at teams like the Broncos, teams like the Vikings, teams like the Chiefs. You can even toss in the Dolphins and also the Panthers. They have the personnel on staff on their team already to run T formation concepts and T formation plays. So if I was a coach, I would utilize that to the fullest. I'm totally in love with T formation. It's one of the oldest formations in football.